Talent, sign up in the foyer and be sure to show it. So it took me all night, but I finally figured out how to project our backdrop for the talent show tomorrow. Great, except we're not doing the cosplay stage fight thing anymore. Wait, what? Why not? It's a talent show raising money for victims of a terrorist attack. Can't exactly bring fake weapons on stage. So insensitive. Okay, but it's tomorrow. What are we gonna do instead? Don't worry. We had a flash of genius in the bathroom this morning. Symphony of farts. Excuse me? We light our farts on fire. In time with the finale of Ride of the Valkyries. Oh, yeah, because that makes it so classy. I told you she wouldn't like it. Wait, why, why would you assume that? Because you're a girl. No, it's because it's gross. But you find it gross because you're a girl. No, me finding farts gross literally has nothing to do with my genitals and everything to do with the fact that they're disgusting. Lola, how do you feel about farts? Oh, they're hilarious. See? Also, really? Yeah. They come into your butt and they make a funny sound. I still think it's a terrible idea. Yeah, because you're a girl. Stop saying that. Guys and girls just find different things funny. Except for Lola. Yeah, I'm an enigma. You still can't assume everything about anybody just because of their gender. Fine, then I'll just assume you're a no-fun killjoy because you don't like farts. Tell me that you're nervous for a high school talent show audition. Yeah, but I don't even know if getting up on the stage is something I still want to do. It's not that Craig Manning's the guest judge. Seriously? Yeah, he's coming home in between Coachella weekends. Um, Maya, you're up. Oh, finally. Someone with an actual talent. Gotta pack my babes, leave my world behind. Take a different road, I know it's my time to open up my heart for another crowd. Play it strong and sing it loud. A charity talent show for the victims of a terror attack? That seems kind of bizarre to me. What do you think, Ziggy? Should we enter and dance the terrorism away? Oh, are you okay there, Space Cadet? Uh, yeah, I just, um... Guess who got into Caltech? Tiny, that's amazing! No financial aid, so I have no idea how I'm gonna pay for it, but that's future Tiny's problem. Maybe we could turn the talent show into a pay-for-Tiny-to-go-to-college fundraiser. I don't think cupcake orgies count as a talent. I assume all the celebration is you guys heard my girl got into comp sci at UT? <laughs> don't sell yourself short. He got into Queens. Whatever. As Mike got into Harvard and Columbia. <laughs> Wait, seriously? That's incredible. It's no big deal. Have you heard about Hampton yet? Uh, yeah, I just heard this morning. I got in. Nice. <laughs> well, why didn't you tell us? I knew you could do it. <laughs> Did you get into the res you wanted? Uh, I'm not sure the email didn't say. I thought you needed to know how to read to graduate. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you said you got in. Well, I didn't, OK? Now you all know what an idiot I am. Where are you going? Nowhere, apparently. So I pulled 56 students, and while half of them find farts funny, for some inexplicable reason, it only skews slightly male. Which means 50% of the student body will love Symphony of Farts. Thanks. It's not what I'm trying to say. Why are you making such a thing of this? Because I don't want you to make assumptions about my brain based on what's between my legs. If you hate the idea so much, you don't have to do it with us. Which is probably for the best, since girls farting is totally gross. Uh, no, we're not leaving this conversation unfinished. But you can't come in. Why not? Because you're a girl. Uh, it doesn't say no girls. It just says somebody wearing pants, and I'm wearing pants. Oh, God. Um. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Uh, I'm wearing pants. <sighs> That's why you can't come in.
talk to you later. Hey, was there something wrong with my audition? I mean, I know I haven't performed in a Maya, while. But... Actually, we thought your audition was amazing, and we want to include you. Do you think you could play a different song? Why? Why? Uh, well, I know you've been to hell and back, but we're worried that last exit might be too inspiring. Like, too good? Sometimes one suicide attempt can lead to another, especially if it's glamorized or romanticized. You really think it's gonna make people want to kill themselves? Well, not on its own, but what if they're feeling the way that you were? I hope you understand. And hey, if you're looking for song suggestions, Not Okay has always been my personal favorite. It would be really dumb for me to be in trouble. I mean, hoopies wear is totally arbitrary. You're not in trouble. Okay, then why am I here? I just wanted to check in with you. I've noticed some changes and I wanna make sure we're doing everything we can to support you. Sorry, um, what do you mean? You started binding your breasts? I didn't think teachers noticed that stuff. It's my job to notice. So if you'd rather use a different bathroom or go by different pronouns, then I just want you to know the school is here to help. Wait. Do you think I want to be a boy? Questioning your gender identity can come with depression and anxiety, but you don't have to go through it alone. The school has had other transgender students before. Transgender? I'm not, I, I mean, that, that's not why I went into the bathroom. Okay. But there is something going on, right? Whatever it is, we just want to know so that we can help. And all my pathetic glory. <laughs> Everyone's looking for you. Yeah, well, I think you can understand that I don't really want to celebrate. You're not pathetic. That's nice of you to say. Want to know pathetic? Um, hacking into your boyfriend's socials to read his DMs. You did that? Yeah. I'm not a very good girlfriend. Or maybe Jonah wasn't a very good boyfriend. That's nice of you to say. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Esme's gonna be in New York or wherever, and I'm just gonna be here. I'll still be around. You wouldn't mind hanging out with a complete failure? <laughs> Not in the slightest. I used to think I needed a boyfriend to be happy, but hanging out with you guys has been some of the best times I've had in a while. Having fun without me? You two probably want to talk. Okay, look, I understand if you're mad, but... Why would I be mad at you? Well, I just need you to understand that there wasn't anything funny happening with Frankie just now. I would understand if there was. I'm sorry? I mean, she's cute, don't you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm confused. It's a simple question. Well, I mean, sure, but we weren't. So you don't want to kiss her? Well, no. Come on, you're human. You're saying you haven't even thought about it. Uh, so you don't want to kiss her? Well, no, that's not what I said. Look, I don't know why I lied about getting into school, but I just felt like such an idiot, and she's trying to cheer me up. I don't cheer you up? What? No, no, of course you do. Can you tell me what's happening right now? You're telling me you wanted to kiss Frankie, unless I heard it correctly. Hey, where have you been? I've been texting you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was in class. Um, I just had the weirdest conversation with Grell. She wanted to know if I wanted to be a dude. Like, if I was trans, isn't that so offensive? Like, I'd want to be more like you dummies. I gotta get some math. Yeah, I know. We're in the same class. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with you? Us don't do this right now. Do what? The no boobs thing, the armpit hair, the bathroom thing. Plus, you don't ever want to make out anymore. Wait, Hunter said that? He was very distraught. So, if you're not trans, what are you? A lesbian? Which wouldn't be a bad thing. No, of course not. Well, is that what he thinks? He's confused. Because you're being confusing. So sort yourself out or at least put the poor guy out of his misery.
sucks that you didn't get into a school, but there's a ton of community college programs that sound awesome. Why don't we ditch class and get our hands on some beers? <laughs> no way, dude. I've got a test. And if we're still in the same history class, so do you. <sighs> hey, it's OK. We'll figure it out. I think I'm in the process of being broken up with. Of course, this is about Esme. I think she thinks something's going on with Frankie. Is there? No. I think she's just assuming the worst. <sighs> Maybe it's inevitable. I mean, you're going to Caltech, Esme's going to whatever fancy school she wants, and I'm just a loser with no future. Well, I'm trying to help you out with that. Maybe if she sees that I've got a plan, she won't break up with me. Um, that's not really why I was suggesting this, but sure. Whatever gets you signing those applications. Okay, so you know, I've been thinking, I think Fred's are funny because they're a surprise. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I was just trying to see if I'm gay. And? No, I don't think I am. OK. Glad I could help. Then what is wrong with me? Sorry, I'm really confused. Me too. I feel in between. I don't feel like a girl or what everyone thinks is a girl. I don't like makeup or stuff like you do. I really, really hate my boobs. Yeah, I, I was wondering what was going on there. But I don't feel like a boy either. And I'm definitely not gay. I like Hunter. This sounds familiar. What? You're like the girliest girl I know. No, not me. My favorite vlogger did a thing about this. They identify as genderqueer. Or I think there's another name for it. Um, gender fluid. They feel like they're between a boy or girl, or both, or neither. Does that make sense? No. OK, it's like, if being a boy or girl is made up, then you can make whatever you want, right? There, that's them. I think this calls for a makeover. Lola, not everything calls for a makeover. You have never been more wrong. OK, look, just tell me what you want to look like if you weren't worrying about being a boy or girl, if you were worrying about being Yao. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, boys. That was surprisingly awesome. <laughs> um, next up, the musical stylings of Maya Matlin. guys, um, it's really great to be here. A makeover. Okay, um, how about we start with this? I knew it! I've never really liked my hair. Uh, okay, um, how about you pin it back? Sure. So, have you thought about pronouns? What do you mean? Well, most people like you use different pronouns, like Z, instead of he or she. Why? I guess if you're not all boy or you're not all girl, why should people refer to you like you are? Mm. Okay, I think you should wear this with the white tee and the slouchy jeans. I've never seen somebody shop so fast in my entire life. I told you, I'm an expert at the lunchtime shopping spree. Don't second guess it. I feel like a dream. No, it's not that. What's Hunter gonna say? 
Honestly, I don't know. What if he hates it? I'm more worried about what you think. Oh my gosh, did I do it wrong? No. I'm so sorry. No, no. You did it exactly right. So we're okay? Why wouldn't we be? Because earlier? No, because I'm an idiot who can't even get into a safety school. Mm. Uh, but I have a bunch of college applications. So. You don't really want to do that, do you? No, but I have to do something. We'll figure out the future. You can come live with me, cook me beautiful meals. But right now, all you need to do is chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy that the entire school thinks he had a threesome? Yeah, as if we'd actually do that just because we like hanging out. <laughs> Such a ripoff, though. We get a bad rep around school and none of the actual fun. Well, because it's a crazy idea. I don't know, is it? You should totally kiss Sig. He told me he wants to. Seriously? <laughs> what? No, no, I didn't. Come on, it'd be funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I just kissed his boyfriend. Boo, you call that a kiss. Okay, it was better. I think I'm gonna have to do more research. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't believe that you only got second place. We're leaving Degrassi in the hands of those weirdos. I mean, I guess it was impressive on a technical level. I don't know, but it did feel pretty good to be up there again. <laughs> we need to talk to you. But I didn't play the song. It'll just take a second. Craig, meet Maya. Maya, Craig. As if I don't know who you are. Hi. That was a great performance, but I was kind of hoping that you'd play that song that you put up on your SoundCloud. You lurked my SoundCloud? Wow, lurked. Uh, well, I like to think of it as doing my homework, but yeah, I like the latest one that you posted. Oh, Last Exit. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I wasn't in a great place when I wrote that song, and I was worried it would make people kill themselves. I get it. I went through some pretty scary stuff, too. But you know what, songs like that helped. They let me know that I wasn't alone. Yeah, that your thoughts weren't wrong, even though they were really scary. Exactly. Listen, my band is going on a tour this summer, and we've been looking for an opener forever. Are you asking me to open for you? No, I'm asking you to come meet with us, play a few more songs, seeing if you'd be a good fit. Are you interested? Um, can I think about it? Yeah. For sure, just let me know. Zoe's got my info. Hey. Craig Manning asked you to go somewhere with him and you have to think about it? Easy, Tris. It's not a date, it's a tour. Yeah, but that's your dream. Plus, you said it felt good to be up there. Yeah. Still, after everything, I just want to make sure I make the right choice for me. What do you think? Are you gay? 
No. Do you actually want to be a dude? No, but I don't really feel like a girl either. What does that even mean? I, I don't know. I thought you'd be okay with it. So I'd be a dude dating someone who's... whatever. What does that make me? I don't, I don't know. Does it matter? Yeah. I mean, I like girls. I thought you liked me. So what do you say? I'm confused. I mean, I want you to be happy, but... This is so much for me right now. He didn't like it. I'm sorry. Do you want to change? I have an extra glam kit in my locker. No. This is me. Yes, if he loves me, I'll come around. I'm not going back. Not for him, not for anyone. <laughs> You're a total badass, you know that. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> look pretty happy for someone who just got dumped. Well, she, uh, she didn't break up with me. So what happened? I think I kind of have two girlfriends now. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, well, we were over at Frankie's house and, uh, some stuff happened. Like, for real, this time. This has got to be some kind of trick, dude. Or a test that you're definitely <laughs> failing. No, I don't think so. They were pretty chill. W what about school? But what about next year? I mean, what are you gonna do? I'll figure that out. I got more important things to worry about now. <laughs>